I introduced you as quadruple crown winner, as I always do, because it is such a rare honor that includes the Tony Award. I know Tony. that you have right there yeah, yeah. a Tony winner, which is, yeah, well, yeah. it was that production of The Life. The Life. First oh, On the Broadway. Funny. Yes. Yes, I, I want to take the opportunity to say back. congratulations Please. to all of the Tony nominees this year. It's been a very fruitful year uh, for new shows to be appearing on Broadway, shows that are employing Black people that have been written by Black people and that are being performed by extraordinary talent, uh, including Black people. So uh, I'm really happy that this is happening. Congratulations on all the nominees. And, you know, I hope they enjoy this time. It's uh, Tony season is a very special time. Welcome to Inside New York. We are so honored to have on today's program one of six Black Broadway producers who's not only a producer, he is the leading Tony Award winning Black producer. Simon Says Entertainment inspires audiences of all backgrounds to connect through diverse, untold stories. We create, produce, and finance projects in film, television, theater, education, and technology. Our founder, Ron Simons, CEO and president of Simon Says Entertainment, is a four-time Tony Award-winning producer, making him the highest African-American Tony Award-winning producer of all time. And we've got him right here on Inside New York. We welcome Ron Simon to Inside <laughs> New York. Hi, Joan. Ron, I have to congratulate you on presenting so many wonderful productions. And I know that my viewers have seen a number of your Broadway shows, which include not only, of course, for color girls who considered suicide when the rainbow is enough, but also Ain't Too Proud, uh, thoughts of a Colored Man, most recently, and Porgy and Bess, which you won a Tony Award. So we are delighted to be able to spend this time with you talking about your career, especially in the midst of a show that's up for seven Tony Awards for colored girls who considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. This is a time for colored girls, you know what I'm saying? And to really be heard, be seen, and for people to respect our stories as well. And how do you know how to produce? I, let's, I did not. I did not read a book. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't take a class. I knew nothing about producing. I was like Nike. I just did it. What would you like to say in terms of why people should go to see Broadway? Well, they should come see Broadway shows because th this platform is a place that can launch careers of a, a number of people. Because from Broadway, things go to be, become a film. You know, they go on to tour the nation. Sometimes they tour the world. And it's important if you care about Black people's stories, if you're Black and you care about investing in stories about yourself, you need to come out, pay the ticket and see the show. Because if you don't, then people like me won't be able to make shows like this. And so that is in our own self-interest. It's also because it is, un it is not like any other art form. There is this kinetic energy that lives that says, wow, if it's a good show, you are lifted. You get, I get goosebumps even thinking about it. And that's why people need to come see the show. And it is uplifting. It's celebratory, it's joyous. And in the time of COVID and the people we have lost, the people who have been ill, don't we need a good time in the theater? I ask you, don't we need that? So the answer is yes. I will just jump in and tell you the answer is yes. And audience. good luck. Maybe Thank I'll see you, you Tony's night. Oh, I'll be there. For yeah, sure. seven, seven Tony nominations. Woo, I great. get a win. I have I'm hoping. 
And you can watch more of our interview with Ron Simon on one of our upcoming episodes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to receive an alert when it's available on demand. And we'll see you again next week on Inside New York.